Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today I am celebrating the My Month series. So it's my first month already here in Canada. For today's vlog, I will share with you our expenses for grocery items for the first month. Probably you're wondering like how much do we spend for groceries for a month or for a week. So today, I will share with you the cost of our grocery items for the first month. Let's start! I already sorted out the receipts. This is the first week, the second week, the third week, and the fourth week. So let's find out how much this did we spend for each week. And then we will sum it up to find out how much did we spend for the first month. We, let's see how much did we spend for our first week here in Canada. So we have two receipts and as you can see this first receipt is very long. So the reason why it's very long is because we uh, bought the items that we needed for quarantine. So quarantine is two weeks, we cannot go outside, so we have to buy a lot of grocery items. And so here we spend 190 Canadian dollars. And then add on this another receipt for the first week, so this is eleven dollars and fifty two cents so all in all it's two hundred one point fifty five <laughs> okay that's mental calculation guys two hundred one point fifty five let's see if I'm right so let me write it down first week so for the first week so how much did we spend? Okay, let me ask the help of calculator to spend to calculate the first week cost or the first week expenses. The first receipt is very 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 long. So it's one ninety point zero three plus 11.52 so 201.55 I'm right guys so it's one how much is it I don't know 201.55 Canadian dollars so far that's for the first week for the second week we have two receipts again so the first one is 77.05 plus 56.86, 133.91. So let's see if my math is correct. So calculator please, so calculator is here. Okay, 56.86 plus 77.05. one three three point ninety one. I'm correct again, guys. I'm a mathematician. <laughs> mathematician. I'm very good in math. <laughs> it's 133.91. So that's for the second week. And the reason why it's lower than the first week, it's because on the first week, we covered almost the second week of grocery items. Let's move on to the third week for the third week we have wow we have a lot of receipts here so we have one two three four five okay so five receipts 
So for the past few weeks, we've been buying in real Canadian superstore. So for the third week, we went to Dollarama to buy a few items. So Dollarama, it's like Daiso. Is it like Daiso? Um, not really. There are more um, food items that are being uh, sold in Dollarama. So the reason why I'm saying that it's somewhat the same as Daiso is because it's a $1 shop. No, $1 actually end up. Not all of the items are $1. So they start from $1 and then up. Okay. Okay, so I have how many receipts for the third week? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five receipts here. So let's do mental cal calculation first to test my mathematical skills. <laughs> okay, let's start with the first one. So 23, the first receipt is 23.35. 23.35 plus 9.35. Nine, where is that? Nine point twelve. It's thirty two point forty seven. Thirty two point forty seven. Let me write that down. Thirty two point thirty two point seventy seven. Okay, so that's what I said. 32.77 plus 24.23 is 56. Okay, so we have 56. 56 plus 24.23 is 80.23. 80.23. Eighty point twenty three plus twenty one point thirty six is one hundred one point fifty six. One hundred one point fifty six and add to forty three point seventeen. So we have one hundred one point fifty six plus forty three point seventeen is One hundred forty four, one hundred forty four point seventy three, one hundred four point seventy three. So now, guys, let's see if I'm right again. So we have five receipts here. Okay, I will need again the online calculator. Okay, okay, so we have twenty three point. 35 plus 9.12 9.12 equals 30 oh I was I'm wrong <laughs> I said 32.77 it's 32.47 I got I problem okay plus 24.23 is 56.7 plus 21.36 21 equals 78 and then plus 43.17 is equal to 121.17 121.17 wow that's a big difference i said 104.73 but the total amount is 121.17 so i'm i'm not good in math i will not um calculate more numbers anymore so i will just use calculator why is it that i'm making my life hard when in fact there is technology or there is a tool you can use to solve it fast and easier faster and easier so 121.17 wow it's cheaper compared to the second week 
Okay, so now let's go to the fourth week. For the fourth week, guys, we have one, two, three, four. We have five receipts also. Uh, so we we bought items from, I mean, yeah, we usually buy items from Real Canadian mostly. And then sometimes in Dollarama and then sometimes in the convenience store that is um, nearby our place so if we do not have if we have some missing items and then we really need it on the same day so we go there to buy some items but we we do not want buying there because it's more expensive okay so let's do the first one so i'm not going to calculate anymore because i'm wrong <laughs> Okay, I'm wrong. I'm not really good in calculating. So let's go to the first receipt, 7.35 plus 38.06. 38.06 plus 5.35. And then plus 27.31 plus 27.31 and then plus 46.55 okay so all in all we spent for the fourth week that's this week we spent 125.02 let's add them up to know how much did we spend for the first month here in canada and also guys to give you an idea if you are coming to yeah uh, if you are coming here in canada you will have an idea how much are you going to budget for food let's do it guys so first week is 201 201 point 55 and then plus oops plus 133.91 plus 121.17 and plus 125.02 wow Ooh. so the cost of everything is 461.65 canadian dollars 461.65 or maybe you can just round it up you can just make it like 500 dollars for one month grocery items in canada if you want to budget okay so this is good for two people so you have 500 canadian dollars maybe that's good enough already for your first month this is just an additional information regarding the regarding buying some items in the grocery store so i mean if you're going to buy in real canadian uh you can uh, bring you can bring your own bags because if you're not going to bring your own bag you have to pay um five cents so five five cents per plastic bag and then so if you will see closely in the if you will see the receipt closely in british columbia so they have three taxes so one is gst which is at five percent so that's the federal tax and another one is the pst which is seven percent so that's the province of british columbia um, tax at seven percent and then there's another one it says bc3 then equal bc pst so bc is british columbia pst so i don't know guys what's the difference between bc pst and only pst so for bc pst they have 10 percent so you are paying for three taxes so for example for this receipt our 
the total that we need to pay is only 22.01 but because of this three kinds of taxes so adding to 22.01 the total um, grocery the total cost of our grocery items that we have to pay is 23.35 so that's plus one dollar point thirty four there are many grocery stores of course here in um, Canada but we um, mostly buy our grocery items in real Canadian store that's because this grocery is near to our place